Well, hey there, guys. It's me, Bert. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a little bit of work to the Birdie 30. So, I wanted you to check out the seat we got right here. Check it out. All right, so we got some, uh, we got the new harnesses on here, but we're going to take them off because, well, because we got to do some painting in this thing. So, let me have my dad show you uh, what's up, okay? What's up, guys? So, what we got is we got the new Schroth Racing six-point harnesses installed in the car. I've actually had these in since the last autocross event. So, you guys have probably seen me kind of rocking them. Bert likes them a lot. Um, what I need to do is I really need to clean up the interior in this thing. Not that there's much anymore, but I want it to look more of a clean race car because you know this thing is a race car but it's uh it's got to be you know i want it to look good so what i did was i picked up some of this por 15 top coat this stuff is really awesome it goes directly to metal and it is a rust preventative paint if you guys haven't heard about this stuff it's like it's a really really good coating it helps protect against rust it doesn't chip anything like that and it looks really good so i went with the primer gray color this is just the top coat stuff you can actually go more intense but let me show you how it looks i did it in the trunk boom and as you can see i mean that's some pretty clean looking race car stuff right there it looks really good in the trunk you know it looks really nice and clean it did a good application a good layer uh but now i gotta go back through the car and finish all of the interior. So I'm planning on basically painting like everything on the inside here. Probably not the doors or anything like that because I want to get some aftermarket like door cards. Carbon fiber would be sweet. Um, probably just going to go with some aluminum ones. We'll see. I got to still get those. Um, but yeah, I want this whole thing to look really good. I'm not sure about this top deck right here. I'd really like to try to get a carbon fiber piece, I think it would be sweet. It would look really awesome. It'd be really awesome to finish this off in carbon too, but, or even the doors, that would be like ideal. That would be freaking sweet, but yeah, we'll see. But there's the cage guys. I don't know if I've really shown it, you know, super detailed. See, that's where all the plates are down there. Um, you know, this is where it's tied in, in the trunk on the rear frame rails. So that's good. It's a twin X, a dual X, Design got an X there got an X there. So it's got good triangulation This is actually a little bit overkill having the secondary X. It doesn't really need it It just needs one lateral bar, but I thought it looked cool. So I got that added on Yeah, as far as the interior goes right now, it's pretty dang basic uh, We just got the cables hanging out So I'm gonna have to kind of remove a little bit of stuff like the center console That way I can get that kind of cleaned up and then probably move a little bit of the wires out of the way clean this all up and then we can get painting on it and make it look as good as the trunk looks because the trunk looks really awesome. I like how clean that looks. I think it looks really sweet. And I can't wait to make this thing look a little bit better. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get down to it. I'm gonna rip this seat and the harnesses out. All right, seat is out. Most of the interior is out. Gonna go ahead and take this out. And I'm gonna have to vacuum this all up, kind of prep it a little bit. And then I think tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon, I'm gonna start painting in here, painting the cage first, probably. Took that little center console out, took the seat brackets out, got the seat out as well. And now the car is looking pretty stripped again. So gotta go ahead and try to clean this all up. So I undid a few clips on the wiring because I'm gonna have to kind of, I don't know, just kind of hang this up by zip ties or something like that when I'm painting. Uh, that way I can kind of get it out of the way and probably just kind of clean it up and tidy it up so it doesn't get painted all over. Um, I actually went over this in some gaffer's tape at one point. I like the way the gaffer's tape looks. It just, you know, it has that nice, matte finish to it um and it, it kind of looks factory it looks nice except it doesn't look like that factory you know it doesn't look all this i don't know multicolored and crap kind of i think that it looks like a lot cleaner so i want to actually tighten it up like that i kind of put some gaffer's tape in that area as well so that to that you can kind of see so after i paint everything i think i'm gonna kind of wrap everything up and kind of try to tidy up the wires a bit also guys i have these new wrench on t-shirts 
on the website. If you guys have not checked these out, go ahead and check these out. Um, I got these and I'm gonna have some other new stuff up there too, but got some new designs. Would love it if you guys picked one up because it's gonna help towards changing out that transmission and swapping this thing over. More race car parts, more episodes because I know you guys like those. I went ahead and picked up a little respirator. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on before I uh, paint this whole thing, but got a nice little 3M one. I'll put a link down below where you can pick one of these up, but I highly recommend to, uh, to get one of these because last time uh, I did it without a respirator and it really sucked. Um, it like, I was pretty much dying. Here's the actual, you know, paint odor filters right here. So awesome. But yeah, I had a pretty bad headache and this stuff's pretty gnarly. So definitely recommend one of these. All right. So here's the stuff right here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and pour it on out. I'm pretty far on the roll cage, the whole back seat area. I think it's looking very, very good. Done this whole floor area right here. Still got that to do over there. Uh, so that area is still not looking awesome. Got to do this pillar. Yeah, overall though, I'm like really liking the way this thing is turning out. It's looking really good, really race car. Got to do the driver's side area still. I'm gonna have to refill this. I used one full thing. So, this is how much of the car I've done with one quart. All of this. I did the trunk already. I didn't film this part. And yeah, it's uh, you know pretty good coverage, really. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack another can of the POR 15 top coat. All right, guys, so I am all finished up. I painted the roof a little bit up there. Um, I don't know, I might do something different. I had the headliner on it kind of before, so I'm probably gonna tuck that back under. However, it turned out really, really well. I like the way it looks. This is a, uh, it's a gray color. It almost has like kind of a whitish gray. It's a very light gray. I had thoughts about painting the interior like white, but then I thought that that might be a little bit too bright and get a little too dirty too easily. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. And yeah, I'm gonna have to kind of change up the wiring, kind of tuck the wiring up. I have the wire just kind of chilling right now. So I'm probably gonna like gaffer tape it up, kind of make it a little bit better looking than kind of like those loose wires over there. So we'll see what we can do. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you guys soon and look forward to another Birdie 30 video.